Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. This is going to be a very short one. In this video I just want to talk about how to record uh, the output from uh, our visuals. How we can record it using JIT record and not using, for example, like Spout and Siphon with some external recorder, okay? So just how we can record it uh, from within Max, so completely all inside Max. So maybe for some reason we cannot use uh, Spout, you cannot use Siphon. So we will see in this video how we can record the visual output uh, directly from within Max. Uh, so we're going to use JIT record, which accepts a matrix as an input, which means we have to basically get the whole um, OpenGL visuals and put them inside a matrix, as opposite as when we record with uh, Spout or Siphon, where we put these visuals inside uh, a texture, right? It's actually pretty simple. We just have to give to the JIT world object the output matrix message. So if we send it a message, we read an output matrix, then we can use like a toggle to toggle it and say on and off. So for example, if we attach a GP window here on the left input, this is where the matrix is gonna come out, so we can see our scene rendered as a matrix. Now by default this is going to be like the dimensions of the window but we can decide uh, which dimension to give, with this, to give this matrix by using the dimension attribute of the JIT world object. For example, if we make it smaller, this, is going to, uh, this image is going to be smaller. So but let's say that we want to record in full HD, we're going to give this image the size of uh, 1920 by 1080, right? Then we can simply attach. Uh, this matrix to the JIT record object, select our codec uh, and select the quality and so on, and then just write and record our video somewhere. So let's make a little test. Uh, as you can see, the matrix is already going inside JIT record, as you can see, it's dimension full HD. So let's try to record a video. I will record it on the desktop. I will move a bit around with the, uh, with the camera, and then I will stop the recording. And this video should be on the desktop. There it is. So as you can see, it is a full HD video. The quality is not super exceptional, but this could be also because of the codec. So you have to adjust this kind of stuff. But uh, we got our video. As you can see, it is a full HD video. And it's also 30 frames per second. Then another way that we got to render basically the scene to a matrix is to use GGL Async Read. Now, as you create, it should work a bit more performantly. So we can also set output matrix zero here. So as you create, it should be a bit more performant because it reads from the GL buffer and it does it in an asynchronous mode. So it kind of basically it can read uh, from this buffer even when the OpenGL, uh, even when the JIT world is writing to it. So in order to get our visuals outside from the GGL async rate, we have to tell to the JIT world, we have to send it a message draw to. And then this must be the same context as is the context set in a GGL async read. So we tell him, for example, draw to async uh, GTX, and then the GGL async read must also write to this, G, uh, to this async GTX thing. Now the problem is that the dimension of this matrix that comes out of here are tied to the dimensions of the window. Okay, there is basically no other way in GL3 that I am aware of to make these uh, uh, dimensions Un uh, unlinked with the dimensions of the window. So basically, if you want to have uh, a full HD window, let me put this on full HD but on the other screen, um, yeah, then uh, this is going to be full HD, but my window is at the moment on full screen on uh, my second screen. So it's always going to be related to the dimensions of the actual window. Okay, so for example, we could make the, the, the window unvisible using the visible thing, the visible attribute of world, we can make it not visible and then give it whatever dimensions and then this would work as well. But in case you want to see both your visuals and record them at the same time using GGL async read, 
uh, then uh, the uh, window must be uh, the size of the dimension of the video you want to record using cheat record. So, yes, third method, which is the less efficient, I think, is to use a GGL node and just basically write, uh, uh, draw all the stuff to the GGL node or a jitter object to the GGL node and then uh, uh, output actually the texture and then record it as if it was a matrix. But this is definitely not so performant because we have to convert a texture to a matrix and so on. But if you want to see how to do that, uh, just check uh, my other tutorials where we use GGL node and you will definitely understand how this works. So, yeah, uh, actually this is it for this video, just a quick video on how to record directly from within Max using the JIT world or GGL Async Read. Hope this was clear enough, and for every question I'm here, don't forget to like the video, uh, check the pattern, and see you soon with the next video. Ciao guys!